Some of the key design characteristics of this building would certainly be the hip roof, which then shifts to gable, to dormer, um, so quite an eclectic roofscape, and that is reflected on the interior. The key materials are really plywood, recycled timber and concrete. The recycled timber is actually from our client's family farm where he grew up, which he's stored for many decades until we found the right project to use it on. There's a layering of materials, the simple plywood with the recycled timber and then the terracotta tiles drawing back to the, the colours of the external architecture. The selection of the appliances was actually a really important part of the design of the kitchen. Wherever possible we wanted to integrate the appliances so that they were hidden and just very much part of the simple plywood wall panelling that you see through the space. In this kitchen, both our ovens are under bench so they're concealed from view from the main living spaces. Integration is really important to me in the kitchen design so that the, the concept of the architecture is maintained. The layout of the kitchen, it is a fairly compact kitchen, but different people can actually use it at one time. So when there are large groups, you can actually have two people cooking or even more in the kitchen. So there is one oven on one side of the kitchen under the cooktop, but we actually place the other one on the island bench so two people can be cooking independently of each other in the space, rather than collecting the two ovens together, which is more conventional in many ways. So it's a very functional, very simple kitchen, allowing multiple people to use it or one person to use it very easily as well.